I'm really excited about today's video. So excited, in fact, that I figured it'd be fun to do an unboxing. Uh, this engine I've been wanting for a little while, but uh, I finally got it. And um, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but I'll give you a hint. It's from 1986. So let's go ahead and unbox it and I'll show you what it is. These are the manuals, by the way. So, this is the 784, the Boston Albany Hudson from 1986. To tell you guys a little bit, um, a little bit more. Here's the, uh, here's the tender. So to tell you guys a little bit more, I actually was eyeing the 783. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, the 783 came out in 1985. It was a reproduction of the um, famous post-war 773 Hudson that is uh, worth a lot of money. Um, an engine I'd like to have, but um, I haven't really researched um, its availability. So I figured the next best thing would be the uh, 783. And then I came across um, this particular engine uh, through a Northeast Trains and Peabody. Um, my friend Don, the owner, had this engine, and um, compared to some of the prices on eBay for the 783, this price was better. So I decided to go with the 784. Uh, this engine, <clears throat> I can go into more details, but it's pretty much the same thing as the, uh, as the 783. <clears throat> so I will go into more details on this uh, right now. So there's not too many YouTube videos on this particular engine. I did a search on YouTube and found one gentleman uh, did a short two minute video on it, um, a guy that I subscribed to. So I thought it'd be good to do a video on this, on this engine. Like I said, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I've wanted this engine for, you know, a little while. Of course it was the 783 I was eyeing, but this engine is pretty much the same. Uh, this is a late MPC era engine from 1986. There are some slight differences between the 783 and the 784. The difference between the uh, with the 784, uh, this engine you're looking at here, is that it has white accents. So the, the you've got the white border running along the length of the locomotive, and also the uh, drivers are white walled with the white rims. And in the front of the locomotive, you, which is the biggest accent of all, is the uh, most of the front of the locomotive is white. And this engine is um, under the Boston and Albany name. So this locomotive comes with the electronic Mighty Sound of Steam. The electronic Mighty Sound of Steam is the same that was on the uh, 8004 engine that I did a review on a couple weeks ago. If you guys... Uh, have been following me you'll remember that I talked about that engine so I thought I would go over some of the uh, briefly over some of the details of the locomotive starting with the front 
So the front of the locomotive, you have the, of course, the most of the front is white and there's some nice rivet detail surrounding the headlight. Uh, above the headlights, you have the two green marker lights and then the separately applied handrails that run along the length of the locomotive come down and connect to the front. Then you also have the uh, cow catcher in the front and there are two steps on either corner of the cow catcher and there's no coupler in the front. Then going down the side, you have of course the white accent, which is a nice touch. The separately applied handrails running along the length of the locomotive and the distinctive feature that I like the most about this locomotive is the drivers. I love the size of the drivers on this engine. Uh, engine the engines like uh, the 8004 that I covered a couple weeks ago has the smaller drivers. Um, this has the nice big drivers. Of course the original 783, the post-war engine, had the same size drivers. It's, I think it's a really nice added touch. It really makes the engine stand out. On the top you have the uh, bell and the bell actually swings. There's like a little handle that um, you can actually swing the bell back and forth. Behind the steam dome is the whistle and of course on the cab you have the hatches that are for decoration purposes. They do not open. And uh, the uh, looking closely at the cab you have the uh, 784 number. In between the tender and the locomotive there's a wire that is for the uh, mighty sound of steam. There are three wires that uh, connect. There's a connection in between and there's, there's a, me, a female connector and a male connector. And there's three of them that uh, you have to plug them in together. And then going back to the tender, you have the nice Boston and Albany graphics on the side, the imitation coal load. And then one nice feature about this locomotive is the nicely applied handrails that run along the front and the rear and corners of the engine. I think that's a really nice touch. It also has some nice um, steps in the back. And then looking at the back, you have an, uh, the nice um, number of the locomotive printed on the back, the 784. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit uh, closer look at the underside of the engine. Of course, you have the two pickup rollers. Uh, you've got the two lead wheels in the front, uh, the three drivers and the four uh, the two sets of trailing wheels uh, running behind. One of the interesting things about this engine also is that the last wheel, the wheel over here, is actually spoked, and um, which I think is kind of cool. You can't really see too much of it when it's running around, but here's a closer look at it. So the weight of this locomotive, um, the engine itself is six pounds just under 12 ounces and the tender is one pound 10 ounces. So this this has uh, you know some pretty good weight to it. Uh, it doesn't have uh, any traction tires uh, with it though. So I'm going to go ahead and run this locomotive around the outer loop. You guys have haven't seen me run any trains on the outer loop yet and I think because of the size of this engine this it'll look better running on the uh, 060 curves. So enjoy the little running session.